1982, John Belushi died from an overdose of cocaine and heroin. Right before he died, he said, <laughs> or at least I assume he did. Listen, kids, what I'm trying to say is drugs are bad, or kind of bad, sometimes good. Uh, let me rephrase. Mixing drugs is bad. Some drugs on their own can be okay in moderation. Uh, the legal ones, uh, obviously, YouTube. Uh, let, let's take alcohol, the world's drug of choice. Alcohol can get you into five different phases. Buzzed, where well, your happiness level increases, and that seven from across the room is quickly turning into an eight. Tipsy, which is like being in a bouncy house, except you don't feel like throwing up yet. This is also where all your social anxiety disappears. Sober you might be like, how do I approach that girl? But tipsy you is like, hey, I, I just want to let you know your tits look incredible. Lesbian. Drunk, where your levels of giving a f have reached an all-time low. This is also where you learn a lot about yourself. Are you an angry drunk who tries to fight other guys in order to mask his insecurities? Are you proud of me now, Dad? Or are you a happy drunk, where you go around telling your homies how much you appreciate them? Steve, I love you, man. Okay, I, I got it. No! I, like, really love you. Hammered, where sobriety test is beginning to look like the SATs. This is also where you start to reveal things about yourself that no one asked for. I once masturbated while looking at a box of animal crackers. Someone get this guy the f*** away from me. Blackout, where you've lost all sense of reality and are no longer in control of your body. Think of it like ratatouille. Someone's controlling your meat sack that has significantly less brain cells than you. Damn it, how do you pull the pants down? <sighs> As long as you stay in stages one to three, you'll probably have a good time. But it can be really easy to overdo it. You see, alcohol has a delayed effect. Meaning when you drink something, it takes time to feel the full effects. Think of it like swimming with dolphins. Might feel good initially, but you'll regret it later. Ah, get it off! Get it off! Getting high, on the other hand, has just four phases. Toasted, where all sensations are amped up. Music, sex, food. Flicking your friends in the nipples is just way more satisfying in this phase. Baked, or your cruising altitude, this is where you want to be when you get high. Everything is funny, food tastes delicious, titties seem even better. But there are a few downsides. Like multitasking is now impossible, and your short-term memory decides to call out sick. But whatever you do focus on is now the greatest thing in the world. Zooted, which is like slipping a surprise finger up the poop chute during sex. You got where you needed to be, but then you took it too far and ruined it. This is also where all the answers in the universe start to make sense, but you forget it almost almost as soon as you say it. Maybe heaven isn't real, and we're all just stardust filled meatbags given enough rationality to realize our own mortality. Ooh, Hot Pockets are done. What was I talking about? And lastly, dead. I mean, not legally dead, but you're pretty close. Your IQ is now equivalent to your special needs cousin, except we're more drool, and you're about as useful as a condom machine at the Vatican. Now, if you have any social obligations or need to go anywhere, it's good to stay between stages one and two. However, it's almost impossible to overdose on THC, so even if you're in stage three, you'll be all right in a few hours. So those are some of the basic phases of being high and drunk. However, combining the two phases throws all of them out of whack. Think of it like basic addition. For every phase of being high, add it to a phase of being drunk. So if your tips and toasted, it's like being at least drunk. Or if you're drunk and baked, it's like moving instantly to blackout. Overall, drinking is probably the worst drug to combine with anything because most drugs are still in control of your body, even hallucinogens. Sure, you may see Super Mario stomp on a squirrel while on mushrooms, but for the most part, you're still in control. But when you're too drunk, Ratatouille gets you into some bad situations. Sure, we could do a backflip. So if you're going to do legal drugs, it's best to separate them and use them on different days. Or, you know, just pull a John Belushi. <laughs> Mm, you know what you want to do? Oh, you want to push that subscribe button? Oh, push the button. Push the button.